Have you ever started learning something, something new and exciting, and then just inexplicably abandon it? Yeah, why do we do that and how do we stop doing that? Hi, my name is Joe Mangum. I'm a trainer, I'm an author, but more importantly, I'm your real estate coach. And that is the topic of this edition of Sale to Serve. Last week I was working with a company on their listing presentation. I had laid out all the components and I had just finished demonstrating the listing presentation start to finish. Now it was the agent's opportunity. Immediately there were a couple of them that were like, no, 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 I like my listing presentation. I really don't think I need this new information. When I sat and talked to them and asked them some questions, it became pretty apparent that their listing presentation didn't work. So why were they resisting new one, a new one that does work? Well, the answer to that lies in Maslow's four stages of learning. And it applies really perfectly into this type of thing, into script learning. So let's talk about those and how we use those for this not to happen again. So step one is a step called unconsciously incompetent. In other words, you don't know what you don't know. Stage two is consciously incompetent. Now the information has been given to you and you do know that you don't know it. Now we go to stage three. Stage three is when you have actually worked on it. It sounds pretty good, but you have to think about it for the words to come out of your mouth. And then the last stage, stage four, is unconsciously competent. That is mastery. That is when you open up your mouth and all the words come out. Now, this is stage two that is particularly dangerous. Why? Because we suck and we know it. And it's so uncomfortable. Our brain hates it when we're in that situation. And it will do everything it can to fix it, including just to find that the way you do it right now is fine. I liken it to a pitcher being off, being kind of cattywampus, and you can't stand it. You have to come and you have to push it back into line. That's what our brains do. So how do you fix this? How do you get past this? Well, two things actually. First one is accepting that sucking is part of the process. It's just part of the process. Knowing that you're gonna have that phase, but it doesn't stay that way. And the faster you practice, the better it gets, which is the second step. Practice, just practicing. Practice in the car, practice in the shower, practice to your children, practice to your spouse, practice to your dog, practice. That will get you through those stages much faster. It will get you very comfortable with the words. And if you think about it, our words are one of our biggest assets in the real estate business. So making sure that you are comfortable and confident with your words is probably one of the best places you can use your time and energy. All right, so if you like our blog, please do a couple of things for me. First, make sure to forward it to one of your peers to make sure that they get to see it too. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure to do that. Love for you to follow me on Twitter and reach out to me on LinkedIn. And of course, you're always welcome to go out to my website, jomangum.com, and check out other information that we have there. All right, go out and practice. And always remember, it is the learners who are the earners.